Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. As you can see, our business is located right alongside a busy highway. And with no gates or way to keep people out, one question that a lot of people have is how often do thieves steal our product? The answer might surprise you. Let's get into this video. Just a quick side note, we just dropped new merch today. I'm wearing one of them. And on the eighth day, God created loggers and the devil stood at attention. I thought that that was pretty funny. And there's three other kind of just funny slogans um, that we have. So make sure that you go and check out our merch shop if you guys are interested in one of these t-shirts. Um, yeah, anyways, let's get down to business. One thing that I think really surprises people about our business is that it's a self-serve honor system, which means we rely solely on the honesty of our customers. This can seem like quite the risk to take, but after 15 plus years of being in business, is it? You might be surprised to know that we don't actually have a lot of theft. The last time something was stolen was about three years ago, and it was a few trunk loads of our cut and split firewood, and it was the dead of winter. There was also the time that somebody actually broke into our office. This was even before that, uh, so this was quite a few years back. I always get people asking when they see the door because, I mean, look at that thing. It's just mutilated, but after that happened, we decided to finally set up some surveillance and after we hung up cameras we actually haven't had any trouble since trusting our customers also does something else wait hey you what the hey get back here get, get back here you guys <laughs> It was just Jade, all right? It's the all black, it got me confused. Trusting our customers also does something else. It holds them to a high standard. By basically setting a standard for what we expect, they will also rise to the occasion because they themselves want to prove that they are trustworthy. Our self-serve honor system is not only great for us, but also the customer. It's really a win-win because for the customer, what usually ends up happening is like with any large order, whatever it is, whether they made a few miscuts or maybe just miscalculated how much they needed, what always ends up happening is they always need an extra board or two. They were always just short on their order. And so they always have to come in and get extra. And it's, it can be challenging working around our hours here at the log yard, um, especially when you only need a few extra boards to try and work around that. It's really nice that regardless of the time of day, you can come in and get what you need and not have to worry about any of it. Also, it's great for us because we can't always be available and we would still love to, of course, make the sale. And this is why it's so beneficial for us to have this in place as well. It's not only great for the customer, but for us because we don't always have that time um, and ability to do that. Sometimes it's a lot nicer when if a customer already knows what they're doing, what they need, it not, doesn't even have to be a thing where we have to stop production because that's usually the case. We're running the mill, we're producing, and we have to stop and help the customer, which is of course fine. We love helping the customers. It's probably the best part of it because you get a little bit of communication in there. And other than that, we're usually just alone at the mill. So uh, it can be nice, of course, to talk to customers, but production has to happen also and it definitely slows down production when we have to stop and help. That about wraps it up for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you back here next time.